The nation's financial regulators are considering another bailout for Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. A controversial move considering the government already helped out once and has said it wouldn't need to do it again. Kim Yosan has this report. Controversy is mounting as the government considers injecting another large sum of money into Teo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, which is facing a major liquidity crisis. No details about the move have been made public yet, but this would be Teo's second bailout from the government, which in October 2015 provided 4.2 trillion Korean won, or nearly 3.8 billion U.S. dollars, to help with the firm's liquidity crunch. Although the government assured the public that no more taxpayer money will be needed to salvage the company, the shipbuilder has been in the red for the past four straight years and posted an operational loss of 1.2 trillion won, or nearly 900 million dollars, just in the fourth quarter last year. But some industry watchers say that to keep the shipyard afloat, there's no option but more government money, especially when much of Teo's debts mature next month. The country's top financial regulator is expected to announce the new measures as early as next week. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.